<laughs> well, got good news and bad news for your kids. <laughs> the, 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 the ending still sucks. <laughs> but bad news is this movie's terrible. <laughs> Well, the good, but the, the good, good news, news is, is this movie's terrible. It's so entertaining. It's, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I have never. Um, I I laughed hard oh, at this so, movie. Oh, so hard. Um, uh, sometimes and I don't for, know if it's intentional. Yeah, sometimes for the Bill Hader stuff was intentional. A lot of. It. Oh no, a lot. Um, a lot but, of but, but a lot of the stuff, other stuff yeah. where they get into the war and stuff, and the movie gets so super yeah. self serious. Like, no, the ancient tribes of this, the, the alien comes down, and then we have to put this, and it's like. So so serious and the music is so trying to make it spooky like oh and i am just losing my shit if you're like dude i love the miniseries which i think most people have woken up right they're like oh hey maybe maybe it's a little corny it's goofy <laughs> it's goofy maybe, fun. no but but super entertaining mm-hmm. uh i i i always said that i always thought it was super entertaining this is not same this is, same this is not like the same ball just imagine like michael bay edited it Imagine yeah. they gave like a ton of money. Well, the musical Still score terrible has that effects. Michael Bay kind of feel lots of long. Yeah, it never shuts and... up. Yeah, but <laughs> chum, like, chum, chum. okay. So, so in the first one, I, I got mixed feelings about the first one. I, I think we both did, but we can the agree. Yeah, I, the, I th- like the first one. I, the, some of the serious work. moments were, but I like the first one best when it went balls to the walls. Um, Sam Raimi Evil Dead Two Haunted yeah, House, and this and this just... one just runs with the that. whole movie is like that so. runs with it and then when it's even not trying to be funny it gets so like it it's it so gets goofy. so it gets drunk on its self-importance like all kind of and it's done king, terribly. a lot of king works do where it's like it's like no this means something like and it's just so hilarious and what's so funny is they make like a million jokes about like it literally opens up after, like, you know, the credits with just, like, you know, oh, this guy's a writer. But he really sucks at endings. Yeah, this yeah, ending this really running sucks. Joke it's about, like, always the a ending bad sucks. ending. And, they and yet keep the ending in this it. sucks. Yeah, <laughs> it's like... It. Well, it's, like, actually sillier than oh, it's the miniseries than, yeah. and, and the book No amount of CGI budget could make this particular spider look... Through. It is so... Here's, here's how you know it's bad. Here's how you know somebody took a look at what... They got and went, oh, we're in trouble. When you have to use strobe lights... All the time. ...to like, hide the your whole crappy, movie. crappy ass effect. I'm surprised they um, didn't use it on the age restoration on, like, the No, kids. the whole last, like... And that's where the movie... The movie just falls apart at the end because, like... And then it gets boring looking. It gets this monochromatic green and blue. All the color is sucked out. It's just strobe lights... Like probably some of the worst it, it CGI really quick, spider yeah. effects I've seen since Scorpion King. The, the effects like, in it this looks are, like the Rock is Scorpion King. The effects in this are awful. <laughs> but but again, they're so silly that Maybe, I kind of didn't care. No, they were so I didn't. Funny. I didn't care. It just is what it is. Where I'm like, okay, well, this is as bad as the stop motion in the original. Like. It's just as goofy looking. But like with the first, uh, um, the, the first, uh, uh, the chapter one, I, I guess, as it is now. Uh, like I said, I mean, we had issues, but it's like the effects were pretty decent. I, I mean, they were there's decent. Times the effects, the effects, but yeah, but these are just film. like. Um, and, but and, but and it like, makes it more hilarious. Uh, yeah, it just makes um, it so much more have, entertaining. All the like Tamara and I were talking about this. All the the ghosts or whatever visions had like these. Sam Raimi ghoul faces. They're all kind of goofy like that. They yeah, have with these big smiles, smiles and like, his eyes just, going this way. I was, was laughing, so laughing hardcore whenever they appeared and whenever they did some jump scare. Um, none of the jump scares are scary. One is scary uh, involving a statue. And that one got me. I'm like, okay, but I then, jumped. You know, then but, when you see what it is, how can oh, you yeah. not laugh your ass um, off? Yeah, no. It is so funny. Um, but that was the biggest surprise. I'm like, yeah, there were a few decent scares I thought in the first one. There's nothing really scary no, in this. No. Uh, Hardly at all. But um, it's weird. It's almost like they took the criticism we had of the first film, and it's like all the problems with the first film, they magnify times 10 with the editing and the pacing and, 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 and some of the performances. and so, But then they took the one element that we really loved, uh, the haunted house scene, and they just made that the whole movie. Yeah. That's like the one thing they also magnify. When it sticks to that, and, it's and it funny. And it is a lot of fun. And even when it doesn't stick to that, it's unintentionally funny. It's so goofy. Um, the only thing I didn't like, one, you could cut 25 minutes from this film. Oh, God. Easily. Yeah. God, is this movie stupid long. 
Um, so that was a problem, and a lot of that was in the ending. It's a four act no, movie. When we got to and like one of those the climax, where the fourth act feels, yeah, when we got to I, the I was climax, like, are I we here already? Watch. Wow! And then it just keeps going. Yeah. And then going, I looked at my going. watch and realized, no, what I thought was going to be the climax. There's still forty minutes of this movie left. Yeah, oh, um, man, that's and where that's you a problem. Feel it. Yeah. Um, Bill Hader, I think, is the best thing in it because he's the only one that realizes he's in a kind of horror trashy comedy yeah, like a like dark a B, dark an expensive b movie an expensive yeah. b movie and he treats it like that like he's got a few great acting moments where like oh no he's reaching deep for emotion but for the most part he's like oh no like i'm gonna play this like i'm in a comedy because that's the only way you can do it and he's great yeah james mcavoy is just he's james mcavoy like he's one of those british actors like Christopher Plummer, Anthony Hopkins, where he could sleepwalk through a role and be fine. And he does that here. Uh, I don't know. Just he wanted. <laughs> He's pretty bad in that. That's but that's one, his one. That's, that's his, his one. one. Uh, um, no, honestly, the performances, most of the I think, performances are fine. Were great. Um, uh, but they never give a moment for them to really shine no, because it's always on to the next the thing. Same, it never takes It's kind breath. of the same problem with the, the miniseries, though. I felt like the performances are good, but they still kind of feel a bit like... The kids felt more real, and these people feel like caricatures of those kids. Yeah. Oh, and when Beverly's, the kids come back in this, it's like, oh man, you're, Beverly's you're missing whole the kids. shtick is just to touch your mouth and go, oh! mm. like that's like half her performance, and a lot of them have that the one germaphobe, thing. Germaphobe, still a germaphobe. Yeah, the germaphobe, still a germaphobe. James McAvoy is basically Michael Keatoning it, where he's like sticks his eyebrow up. He's like, mm. I don't know what's going. On. And then and he's then still he'll bring in the over stutter. All the kids getting killed. Um, well, you know, and here's something too that watching the, this film does not do any credit to the strengths of the book because it just points no. out more and, the and more book like wasn't the great to begin with. No, well i mean so. I, I mean i like the book fine again it kind of like the movies i'm like you kind of cut this in half but one and the thing, ending sucks yeah but one and the kids stuff is the best but, but 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 that's what i was gonna say why even have the adults because you're essentially just doing the exact same thing yeah. again like in all versions of the story, and because that's what this one made me wasn't realize. That long, I couldn't use thing. it as a doorstop. <laughs> but that's um, what this one made, really made me realize. I'm like, yeah, why did we even have the stuff with the adults? Because they just go back and learn like the exact same lessons, except now it's like oh, their then, childhood of their fears. Oh, I hate, it's what they're afraid of. And, and then it just comes down. It's like Stephen King wrote the original Fetch Quest. He should have written video games because that's all the middle part of this movie is. You need to find these things. Go fetch them. Well, then like, I'm trying to remember if that was in the book. At all, because I, I don't remember What's like the... trying to fetch stuff. All the lore stuff was in there. They, I thought they had they to remember try to things. make it work. Maybe they were maybe it's, they were it's reworking goofy. it, but it's no no. Remember, yeah, there's remember. They had to remember things. things. Maybe they, they maybe don't this they, maybe this for, they turned into for a as fetch long class, as this then. movie is. There's so many but things it's... that could have tapped into, and they don't. They just make it a silly, goofy haunted house and movie. And it kind of works. Yeah, like not. Not I don't intentionally. Know. Yeah, I'm not. Think? Well, Tamara and I were having this argument. She's like, "Oh no, this was meant to be a comedy. Straight up, like this was meant to through. be funny." And I'm like, "Maybe, Tamara. Know. I'm like, I'm not convinced. Like, I'm definitely like, parts of well, it. Well, parts of it. The Bill Hader yeah, parts, like, clearly. Definitely. Like, and, and there's a lot just of funny stuff. lines written. Yeah, like the scene um, with the old lady that you've seen in the trailers and stuff like that. Like, that's meant to be funny. But then when you see what actually comes out and attacks her, you know, because they cut in the trailer, it's just oh my God, that was so hilarious. bad. Oh, so good. But it's like, I, I don't know if it's meant to be bad. I... I I don't know. Well, it made me think uh, it's. I, I don't started, think so because the CG is so lame. Well, I was and thinking it's so back terrible. to the first film, and I'm like, the first film had the same vibe. But I think there's something about when you have a story involving kids, you suspend your disbelief a little more. Because like, I guess maybe I was remembering back to when I was a kid and everything scares you. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, maybe it's because when they were kids and you had this killer clown, I was a little more willing to buy into the scares, even if. I look back on it now, maybe they were goofy looking. And that's even that even holds over to the miniseries. We well, can like also Tim get fun Curry's angles weird, as a kid, too. Uh, yeah, like, like you like get that, lower yeah. angles. A bunch of grown adults in this type of story, I just couldn't take it seriously. I was there, laughing there, hardcore there were two, in this whole movie. There were two movie. legit creepy scenes to me, and they're both very short. Uh, one is in the mental asylum. I, I won't give it away, but but it's a, it's a reveal under a bed. That I'm like, you know. Oh, I, see, I, I, I laughed. Oh no, no, it, <laughs> it's funny. But but I was legit yeah. like, well, that's a little creepy. It's like a Sam. It's a Sam Raimi funny. Yeah, where yeah. It's like it's like you're creeped out, but also kind of laughing at the same. time. And then time. the other, which you can't um, see in the trailer too, is him squeezing through the mirrors. Like the mirrors get shorter, shorter. Just if you're claustrophobic, that's kind of like an, ugh, like like creepy thing. But yeah, I get, were, that's only if you're claustrophobic. Um, <laughs> it wouldn't work on everybody. No, um, there weren't. Uh, 
The only scene that's scary is the beginning because that shit felt real. Mm. Humans being shitbags to each other, that's real. Even that felt like, because I never, I mean, again, we won't give it away, well, but it's, like, that doesn't go anywhere, no, really. It's, and even they kind of seem like stereotypes. A, yeah, it has like, a... Ooh, a Meg Ryan joke. Like, yeah, ooh, no, it has a cliche. Who the hell talks about Meg Ryan? It has a cliche <laughs> vibe. But as something that scares me, I guess I'm not scared of clowns. Mm. Um, I was on Brad's movie after dealing with that, but maybe <laughs> apart from that, like, it, yeah, I'm not really scared of clowns. I was like, that may be the only scene where I'm like, yeah, that kind of shit can happen in real life. Maybe mm. not as cliched as it was written on the page here, where it's like, let's walk down the only dark alley in this town. Like, where it, it felt like the setup to the opening of Batman, where it's like, mm. let's make all of the choices where we go down away from the crowd. <laughs> That's why I said, when they're walking yeah. away, I'm like, they'll be fine. But, yeah, so, <laughs> but the concept... You know, of like a hate uh, uh, crime. Sure, I'm, like, yeah, I'm yeah. like, that's scary because that could really happen. The rest of the monster stuff, I'm like, this is like goofy haunted house kind of like Sam Raimi. Actually, what it reminded me of most, particularly with how they, with the ending, it's Nightmare on Elm Street, which is also it, it, funny yeah, and scary. So I'm like, if his goal, bad if this director's goal was <laughs> well, to make some. something, yeah, if this director's goal was to make something like, this is going to be serious, this is going to be, be the drama big ending. and skill. Fail. Yeah. Absolute fail. If his goal was to make like a nightmare on Elm Street movie, it's like, no, we're gonna make this funny. Silly we're gonna make Yeah, we're yeah. gonna make this like dark and scary, but it's also gonna be really funny and you're not supposed to really take it too seriously, and the ending's just gonna be one of those things where you're like, really? Mission accomplished. Yeah. I think it was actually pretty good on that level. Yeah, no, so um so I'll just give a heads up that my battery's fading on this way. I, I didn't have a chance to charge it before we got here, but uh we are gonna do a nostalgia critic review on it so we can go into even more detail and stuff. But I mean like I guess I, I mean just I would I mean, would you recommend I say if you're looking for a scary go, movie, no, but if you're looking if you're for looking like, for a fun if you're looking for a scary if, if you're looking for a like a, a silly haunted, B movie. A haunted fun house movie. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like a B movie. Like. This feels like if Goosebumps was rated R. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, it's got that vibe to me. Um, then I say, yeah, go get it. But yeah. uh, I was enter... I, there, were, there was probably about, out of the nearly three hours, 40 minutes, I was kind of like, eh. But I'll tell you, that other... Two hours, ten minutes. It, it's fun. I was entertained. It's I was seriously stupid. entertained. It's yeah. It's terrible, but it's whether or not that was so the director's fun. intention or the screenwriters, I don't know. But it, it, it really they accomplished felt like, something pretty funny. It felt like the mini series on the big screen, just with a bigger budget, but somehow worse effects. <laughs> but that kind of makes it even more enjoyable. So yeah, I that that giant <sighs> Spider Man. I'm like. No, they can't make it worse. I'm like, they can't make it sillier. No, it's, it's it's sillier. It's pretty silly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully, you can get an idea from that. We are gonna talk more about the nostalgia critic review too. Um, and uh, I I had fun. I I did too, and I I was I think I was not I looking. Think I, had fun. I was not looking forward. No, to I wasn't movie. either. Because I, like, I heard three, three hours. hours and I'm like, oh. and, and the, the buzz has been. Not too good. Positive, but in that middling sort of like, yeah, it's all right. Like that kind of range. I'm like, uh, three hours of it's all right. Like, I mean, I didn't think this was all right. I thought this was beautifully, hilariously, lower your expectations and have fun with it. Yeah, I I think that's the best angle you can go in with it. So that's about it. We'll see you next time. Take care. (laughs)